everyone, it's Lily and I'm back to my February plan with me video. As usual, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my cover page painting and I'll be back to talk to you more after I'm done. Suffer 
This month I went with a woodsy camping theme and I forgot that Valentine's Day was coming up. So I didn't do a traditional sort of Valentine's Day or romantic theme, but I don't know. I kind of like doing something different. And also as per usual, I'm doing my February goals and important dates after my cover page. And I didn't leave enough room for dates there, so I had to kind of squeeze it in. Now just to add a little bit more decoration to the page, I'm adding some pine branches and some tiny pine cones. I was a little worried this theme would come off as Christmassy, and I think there are areas where it does, but I was mostly trying to go with kind of just a more like lumberjack, woodsy camping vibe. And in some areas, I think it looks really nice. This month, I put my habit tracker and workout weight log on one page instead of doing it like I did last month across two pages. In the past, I haven't liked how individual habit trackers looked, but I'm giving it a try. I prefer it when the habit trackers are in perfect squares instead of doing, you know, like 28 boxes. Yeah, and I've decided I'm kind of overusing the ruler. <laughs> So my squares look a little wonky, but I kind of like that it adds a little bit more of a like hand done look. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me. Most of my habits carried over from last month. Uh, I did add, uh, remove my makeup before bed because I'm <laughs> Pretty bad at that, which is not great for your skin. And what else? I added healthy eating, which I still am struggling with. Even though it's gonna be February soon, I feel like I haven't really come out of the holiday eating patterns. <laughs> My workout tracker uses the same method as the habit trackers. I just did enough boxes for 28 days. And then I did little like hash marks in the space I didn't need. I'm gonna go ahead and color in each square when I do a workout with the color that corresponds to the type of workout I did. I kept the weight log this month and I have boxes to write in my weight each week. Moving on, I did another little area for plant tracking this month. Uh, my fiance and I got even more plants, which is kind of a struggle <laughs> to keep up with them all. Um, but so far they're all still mostly alive. <laughs> and then I've never done a wish list um, page before, but I don't know. I'm kind of trying to budget a little bit more, and um, it might be nice to write down like things I really want to buy, so that when I have a little extra money, I'm not just spending it on something random. I'm not sure where the clip of me painting that pine branch went, but <laughs> this page is going to be my quote page. I lettered the whole thing using a paintbrush and watercolor this time, which was pretty challenging for me. I don't think this paintbrush is quite the right shape, maybe, to get like the thicks and thins. Maybe I just need more practice. I don't know.
Bruce finds spacing challenging with quotes, so I try and plan it out in pencil before I paint it or letter it with a marker, and then somehow the actual like lettering, uh, the spacing ends up a little bit different than how it was with pencil. Anyone has any good tips on how to do this process a little better? I would uh, really love to hear them. Mostly used the maroon and purple color on this page because I liked how it looked, but also I was trying to avoid too much of that red and green together. Again, so that there was more of this like sort of woodsy feeling instead of a Christmassy feeling. The quote is by the poet Mary Oliver, who sadly passed away recently. It reads, Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? This month I'm back into weekly spreads. I think I definitely can use them this month and I like having all that space to write to-dos and information for specific days. So I started this month on February 4th and I'm just going to keep the info for the other days on my January um, kind of general to-do list. So I kind of goofed up where I realized I couldn't fit both weekend numbers in one dot, so I just added a second dot. <laughs> the page needed just a little bit of decoration, so I'm just doing more of those pine branches at the bottom. And some more at the top. Didn't like how that line on the left looked. So I tried to fix it by adding some kind of, of those abstract, what I was thinking of as like berries. And I didn't like how that looked either. <laughs> so yay for washi tape. This washi tape has a wood green pattern on it, which I like. And I think that helps this page look a little, again, a little less Christmassy. <laughs> So that's it, we're all the way through. I realized I forgot to sign my painting and now I'm gonna do a little flip through. If you like this video, you could give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, hope to see you again soon.